అందరికీ నమస్కారములు టుడే ఈ ద ఫస్ట్ డే ఆఫ్ అవర్ క్లాసెస్ ఆన్ సర్టిఫికేట్ కోర్స్ ఆన్ సనాతన ధర్మ ఫర్ యూత్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ లెక్చర్ ఆన్ వాట్ ఈస్ అవర్ కల్చర్ ఆఫ్ సనాతన ధర్మ అండ్ దిస్ విల్ బీ అవర్ స్పీకర్ టుడే ఈజ్ డాక్టర్ బిడి పటేల్ గారు i will uh, introduce him briefly but uh, his uh, bio, bio data is already posted in the uh, group please go through that the first we will have uh, prarthana by saugandhi ji after that we will start the proceedings uh, saugandhi ji శుక్లాంబర ధరం విష్ణు శశివర్ణం చతుర్భుజం ప్రసన్న వదనం జాయే సర్వ విఘ్నోపశాంతయే సరస్వతి నమస్తుభ్యం వరదే కామరూపిణి విద్యారంభం కరిష్యామి సిద్ధర్భవతు మే సదా హరి ఓం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ Namaste. Namaste is, Namaste is old attitude, you know. Hi, hello. <laughs> okay. Apoorva, open your this thing. I want everyone to feel this. This is a, not a class where you will be asked for examination and you will be failed. No problem. Everyone, all the faculty members want you to listen, absorb, and adopt and apply all the three is okay so let us all smile let us all be happy we evado evado musaradu chadu emo chaptunnadu mem vinala ma teacher mammali balavantanga teesukochindi ee aalochanalu oddu telugu artham avutunda naaku telugu raadu andukene maatladutunnam hmm okay uh nobody replied me any of uh, all of you okay now can any one of you tell me enduke karyakram enduku pettaru and why you have joined balavantam vere ma nana cheppandi ma uncle cheppandi ippudu nana ledu kada uncle dad mom bro vidu chepparu andukane meer cheraru legada balavantanga teacher mamani em antundi yena cheram ante chestu chestunnam ala gaakunda మీరు ఏమి దీంట్లో అపేక్షిస్తున్నారు వాట్ యు వాంట్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ వాట్ యు ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ కమాన్ స్పీక్ ఇట్ అవుట్ నందిని గారు ఆదిత్య గారు శ్రావణి గారు ఎంతమంది ఉన్నారు మంచి మంచి పేర్లు ఉన్నాయి శ్రావణి అంటే అర్థమైందా శ్రవణం సరే శ్రీ కృప గారు మాట్లాడాలమ్మా ఎవరు ఫేర్ చేయరు చెప్పండి అమ్మా knowing more about the sanatan dharma more knowing more about the topic who is that person i am not able to see is it you ah yeah oh, your, sure. your good name please my dear bindu sir bindu bindu me peru raledu bindu ante telsa india's contribution ah, yes, india's contribution to the entire world is bindu shunyam you put it and that's gone you put this side you put this side lot of difference very nice bindu very nice mean intro english maatladtara no sir tell me okay right endukante ma bengaluru lo e bhasha vadaina gaani intro english e maatladtaru maaga di vini vini oda cheera kai poyindi oh you don't know uh, uncle you don't know english i said i know n o okay fine friends now can you describe one word what do you mean by culture what exactly you understand by culture just one one minute fast bindu garu mere maatladi nandini garu something my ancestors which gave us ah ancestors which gave us very good very nice very nice nandini anybody else 
I want others also to speak. Everything Sorry, about this land, like everything about this land. Great, great. Shavani, Shavani. Yes, sir, yes. about the religion and the, uh, about the respect which you give to other people. But, uh, you said election, uh, first election. Uh. Respect. Huh? Respect. Oh, respect. I'm not election. I'm not going to tell you how to election. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Sinduja, Dr. Sinduja, you are a doctor. What do you expect? What do you, what do you uh, understand? Why this topic culture means what? Uh, culture is a <coughs> language, values, costumes, and materials. Okay. Uh, Sinduja has gone and Apurva came. Where is Sinduja? Dr. Sinduja. Fine. Uh, yes, who's, ah, yeah. uh, Sinduja, you, you said this language. Okay, fine. Anybody else? Vaishnavi ji. Where is Vaishnavi ji? Mamta Kumari. Pravalika. So many people are there. And you see, Dr. Sinduja, everybody wants to see you. Keep your videos open. Audio, you can close it. Because everybody wants to see everyone. Okay. See, my face is not worth showing. But what to do? Compulsion. Okay. But we will like to see your face. Keep your videos open, audio close. No problem. Uh, anybody else? Samskriti uh, Sampradaya. Yes, yes, better? Samskriti. Okay, fine. Anybody else? Uh, hi, hi, Ma Shruti. Shruti Shri. And Tejya Swini. Lalita Garo. Okay, sir. Uh, we'll do I one think, thing. I think yeah, we think. can also say science is our culture science. because a lot of our traditions are scientific in nature. Like, Great. if we search Great. for it. Great. So nice. So nice. I think whatever all of you said, you will find this in brief, uh, these four days, just maybe 0.01%. Oh, okay, you will see this. So with the permission of the uh, Colonel Saab, uh, we, I would like to uh, open my presentation. Please. Today, India is not innovative. Indians have become the best copiers in the world. If you see Bollywood, you know, Bollywood copies, scene by scene, dialogue by dialogue, frame by frame, Western films. There is no innovation in India. You know? Whereas in the ancient times, you know, even till the Mughals, you know, India was considered, you know, a country where so many things were invented from mathematics to you know, chess and astrophysics, you know, Indian astrophysicists were among the best in the world, the astronomers, the French used to quote Indian astronomy up to the 18th century. So India was a country of innovation. Today, because of colonization, because of the invasions, because of so much trouble that has come to India, India has lost that imagination, that power of innovation. Why? If you see your schools today, your universities, what you're doing is that you produce clones, you know. You only teach them Western values, Western literature, Western mathematics, you know, Western heroes. And as a result, your students, you know, however brilliant they are, you know, are just copiers. And they're good for export. Go to universities and eventually settle there have children, these children become totally American or British or Canadian and they're lost to India and they're lost to themselves. Now, what is Indianness? The first quality of Indianness is to know about your own culture, your own heroes, considered great by your own, you know, history books. Your own poets, Kalidasa is probably one of the greatest poets ever in the world, you know, on par with Homer, on par with Shakespeare, you know, even today translated 
from the Sanskrit to English, you can see the power of Kalidasa, but is Kalidasa taught in Indian schools? Not at all. Your philosophers, you know, you have great, I mean, the Advaita philosophy, the Buddhist philosophy, were among the greatest in the world. Not only are they not taught in the West, but they're not even taught in India. You have contemporary philosophers like Sri Aurobindo, you know, whose uh, books, you know, the foundations of Indian culture, the life divine, the synthesis of yoga, are among the greatest in philosophy. And yet, Sri Aurobindo is not part of the curriculum. So, you are bringing up children, you are not aware of their roots, not aware of their history, the good and the bad, because they are not aware also that the greatest holocaust ever, you know, in the history of humanity, that of the Hindus, you know, from the Hindu culture, as a result, your children, they are not Indian, you know, they might have some love for Bollywood, they might, you know, have a little bit of pride for cricket, but this is not Indianness. You know, the first quality to be Indian is to know about your roots. As a Frenchman, I know about Napoleon, the great warrior. I, name, I, I know my great poets. I'm taught in school, you know, from kindergarten onwards, who my great warrior. So I grew up proud to be a French. So Indians today are not proud to be Indian. Hence, you know, they do badly in Olympics. You know, the fact that Indians do so badly in Olympics is also because they lack nationalism, they lack roots, you know, they lack the feeling of being proud to be Indian. So this is a great lacuna in Indian education. What? Be Indian. Be proud to be Indian, you know. Do something for your country. This is a great country. It needs you, you know. It needs your Indianness. Thank you and have a good day. Now, friends, you know who is this man? Franco is Goiter. This video was made some nine to ten years back i think ten years back anyhow now you got, you're seeing all this what exactly culture means whatever you said it is there and something extra number one you will take up our attitude first is our attitude how we are our beliefs our language our customs our rituals our behavior our architecture, our food, our art, drama, music, and culture. Now let us analyze ourselves, how much we are close to our culture. Are we, our, how is our attitude? How, how are our beliefs? What is the language we speak at home and now, right now I'm speaking? What are our customs, rituals, how we behave? How is our, do we know anything about our architecture and what food we are eating? Weekends we go out, you know, weekends we go out and have a pizza. Imagine that. And then art, drama, music. Uh, this is a brief about our culture. Recollect the forgotten culture and heritage of India to develop a sense of pride and respect. Let us may take each one and introspect. Let us think ourselves. You are not going to answer me or answer any of the faculties. My purpose is to make you think, are we doing this? Do we have this? Is it relevant? All these points. Number two. Now the first thing I put is <coughs> everybody knows the Rangoli. Now why Rangoli is put in front of the house? I asked some lady in front of the their house, they were putting very nice rangoli. After my yoga, I was walking and I saw, I said, Madam, chala bhaavundandi meeru, I said, I asked, why did you put this? You know what was our reply? Rangoli is put in front of the house just to create a pleasant atmosphere. When the opposite house person opens his or her door, when he sees this rangoli, a pleasant smile comes and creates a pleasant relationship with the neighbors. This is our attitude. First thing, this is our attitude. We want everybody to be happy. We want everybody to be pleasant. And we do for everyone's sake. See, when you draw such a whatever rangoli you do, it will feel happy. But even the other person who sees it, happy. Now, those who are staying in flats, forget about Rangoli. At least those who are staying in individual houses, they must start practicing this. 
make other side try it may not be so nice so good whatever you get you do it <coughs> this is our culture atithi devo bhava when anybody comes home we do namaste now in the beginning i said hi hello just to create hi hello doesn't have any great meaning hello whenever you say hello it means the lover of graham bell who invented telephone his lover's name was hello and we are using it as all over the world now hello has become that and hi if it has been a live program i would i would told them i'll give you 1 lakh rupees if you tell me the meaning of hi just because somebody uses outside people use we are using that's not our culture our culture is this with the folded hands we receive people who come to our house whether they are friends they are known they are unknown people and the meaning of atithi devo bhava is not translated in english just like if any guest comes we do atithi meaning is totally different from guest atithi means a person who comes without informing atithi and secondly he will come only once he may not come again at all such person is we consider in our culture as a god we respect him call him inside give him food and then send him see whenever the ladies come ladies have a special way of greeting they give kumkum they give flowers they give so many things and that is smile with a smile there is a lot of meaning in this we cannot go into all the meanings right now because time is very short and we have many things to share so at least this is an idea this is a point where you must investigate <laughs> as youngsters now you see tilakam tilakam is put on the forehead this is agnya chakra and my dear most of you are girls and i'll tell them i'll tell you please do not use a sticker because and then you are wearing a red uh, green dress you put a green sticker you are wearing a black dress you put a black don't do that for young girls and ladies kumkum is the best and apply kumkum that is you, it will absorb all the negative looks negative views of the world and it is agnya chakra you are stimulating as a doctor i'll tell you the way of putting tilak if you do it properly in the kumkum you are stimulating thyroid gland no, sorry my pituitary gland that is called as master gland now the another one is in this this is the only country where we have this rakshabandhan where the girl the brother sisters they have a bonding between the same and as a doctor i'm telling you many parents come and complain sir our children fight with you there is a lot of sibling rivalry this word i want anybody to tell me sibling rivalry in telugu don't translate is there any word in telugu hindi marathi gujarati marwadi anywhere we don't have that our culture doesn't teach that sibling rivalry is a foreign word for us when you speak english at, at home this will come the next is the marriage indian marriages it is such a sanctity such a pure it is not that you go to court or you go seven do you agree his husband do you agree his wife he has done shaadi ho gayi or the wedding is done no there is a procedure so many things are explained each one ritual has a deep meaning saath phere and saptapadi if it is properly explained to boys and girls or to, man, to people who marry hardly there will be divorces talaq word is not hindi talaq is arabic we hardly have any words for divorce now our basic principle is this yatra narastu pujyante ramante tatra devataha yat praytastu na pujyante मनी गिनी यू हैव दे नो है 
This is the culture which teaches. No other culture in the world teaches this. It's only this Indian Bharatiya Sanskriti teaches this, where women are respected and treated with the dignity. Those families flourish and grace of Almighty will be always there. Whenever they are not respected, all actions result in failure. Many people quote Manusmriti for wrong things, but quote him for right things also. Many things Manu has told which are very good for society. Now, joint family. Have you ever heard of this? Hardly we have joint families in India now. Joint family, the benefit of joint family is this. Minimizes mental problems like depression, panic attacks, mood swinging, autism. When children grow in a big family, hardly there are mental problems. Let me tell you, friends, when I came to Bangalore 37 years back, there were only two hospitals, or only one hospital, which is called as Nimhans, mental hospital. And today, every nook and corner, we have psychiatrists, counselors, uh, adult counselors, youth counselors, everybody. This is because we are living in solitary families with, because of our egos. And in Bangalore has the maximum number of joint families. Do you know what is the meaning of joint family in Bangalore? Husband, wife staying together is a joint family. Forget about others. You got the point? Now let us see this. Sweetie, I'm showing you today. Today, my city of Ramsar is a family of लोग अपने माता पिता तक को भी वृद्धा आश्रम में छोड़ आते हैं वही हम आपको राजस्थान के एक ऐसे परिवार से मिलवाने जा रहे हैं जिस परिवार में 10 नहीं 20 नहीं बल्कि पूरे 185 लोग साथ रहते हैं अजमेर जिले के रामसर के इस परिवार में आज भी 13 चूल्हों पर 185 लोगों के लिए खाना बनाया जाता है परिवार के वृद्धि और साथ ही 25 किलो आटे की रोटियां 11 अलग-अलग चूल्हों पर बनाई जाती है वो 185 लोगों का परिवार है एक जुट आपके परिवार में भी किसी प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी रिस कैन यू बिलीव दिस दैट प्राइम दैट इन टुडेस टाइम वन फैमिली इज देयर इन राजस्थान वेयर 185 पीपल लिव टुगेदर एंड देयर आर नो प्रॉब्लम्स 25 kg of sabji, 25 kg of rotis are made together. And everybody is happy. I have cut short the video because of the time. You must think of this. And as we are coming to south part of India, a lot of people are getting away from joint family uh, culture. Prime Minister Modi received a special welcome in Papua New Guinea. The Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, James Marape, not only broke protocol to receive Prime Minister Modi at the airport, but also greeted him by touching his feet. Afterward, PM Modi embraced him and patted his back. Friends, this is what we call as Matru Devo Bhava, Pitru Devo Bhava, Acharya Devo Bhava, Atiti Devo Bhava. And this is given in Taitri Upanishad. What we always say, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, all this, where do we find them? We find in Skanda Puran <coughs> and Ashtavakra Gita, respect for parents and teachers. You believe or not, even now, whenever I go to Punjab, whenever I go to Chandigarh, my students who are 40 years back, my students, <coughs> their children, they are already, their children are doctors, they are having grandchildren, they come and touch my feet. And they say, what do you do? कहते सर आप हमारे गुरु हो पांच साल आपने पढ़ाया हमें सिखाया हम कैसे बोले but have you seen anybody hardly touching feet in South India except when some Swami ji comes he just prostrate that is not at all important to prostrate in front of Swami Swami ji first prostrate in front of your parents your you, what you call atta mama Pedanana, Baba, you were a china one at Namaskar and Jesse Dimano, Nitskunda, Kala Namaskar, Kala Mutala. Oh, no, 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 and the Wale shake hand is the Nil Dejis shake and you would do. Tatagaru, Baba Garu, Nilakashi Radam Wala. This is the culture which we have left. The more you speak English, the more you lose your culture at home. See, you have to speak English outside, fine, no problem. At home and with friends. Hello, how are you? Don't talk. 
talk in your own mother tongue. Now, touching the feet is a sign of respect for the age, maturity, nobility, divinity, and that our elders personify. This tradition reflects the strong family ties, which has been one of the India's enduring strength. This is the strength. You have seen, I don't know how many of you have seen the uh, British Prime Minister uh, Shaunak Rishi. He, he did Deepavali. And in the full video, if you see, he went and touched the feet of elders. Even a British Prime Minister. But we feel ashamed to touch anybody's feet. We should not feel that. If anybody is elder to us, knowledgeable, touch their feet. Now you see, this is one of our culture, what we do in Sankranti, especially Sankranti, I'm talking of Andhra Sankranti, Telugu speaking Sankranti. You see this, I don't know what you are seeing in the picture, but what I am seeing in this picture is, there is not a big building, no five-star hotel, it's a small hut. Few people live there. With all that, because of that festival, you see everyone is so happy, whatever little they have, they are decorating themselves, they are doing this rangoli, they are putting that, this happiness comes in Indian festivals. Nowadays, what is meant by happiness? Any festival comes, Deepavali comes. You know what is the amount of liquor sold for Deepavali in Delhi alone? 176 crores of liquor has been sold. Can you believe this? That's not our culture. The entire family, this is our culture. Now this is, we decorate bulls, Sankranti, again we do all this puja. It is a type of conservation of animals. And you all know, you should know, that plants and animals have feelings in them. When you decorate them, when you touch them, when you feel them, they also feel very happy. They are living beings. All Indian festivals are related to environment, season, harvesting, and bonding relationship. Bonding relationship. Now, Chatlak Namaskaran Jestaru, Yenti the Antaru. There is a lot of science behind that. This is people tree. See, how many of us really know people tree is the only tree which releases 24 hours oxygen every day? As a lot of you are scientists, you know that many trees leave oxygen in the day and carbon dioxide in the night. But this tree releases oxygen 24 hours. And this is the way of preserving ecology, preserving trees. So they have given some reason, you do namaskar, you do puja, at least by the sake of that fear, you will not uh, what do you call, uh, uh, kill the tree. That is the idea of Indian culture and every, every incidence, every ritual. Now one of the biggest gathering on the earth in the entire world, nowhere, Mahakumbh Mela, how many of you know really where is it held? Anybody can talk to me? Anybody? Students. I want I want to say only students. Where is this Mahakumbh Mela is uh, held? Anybody? Yes, friends. Okay. It is in Prayag Raj. It is in Prayag Raj, which was earlier called as Allahabad. It is Prayag Raj, where maximum number of people gather. Nowhere else in the world. Now taking bath in any river is for us very, very precious. It is called as Tirthasthan. It is a lot of value we give. What a lot of respect we give. That's why we sh you should not pollute. So anything from the factories and all that, we have, don't leave that in the water. It is sacred for us. Now this is one deeper prajwalan. Lighting of the lamp. Don't say lighting of the lamp. It is, you use the word prajvalan. And this word you cannot have in English. Some people say kindling of the lamp. No, kindling has a different meaning. Do you know what is the purpose of this? Deepa prajvalan. Whenever there is a function, whenever there is a program, you are enlightening the people. You are giving some knowledge. You are giving what they never knew. You are telling them new things. That is what is called as Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya means you are taking us from the darkness into the light. Means what I never knew. 
I am trying to know that that is Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya. This is the idea. People have made it a formality. No formality. Have the meaning. Now this is the one of the writers said Portuguese, Dutch and English have been very for a long time year after year shipping home the treasures of India in their big vessels. We Germans have been all along been left to watch it. Germany would do likewise, but hers would be treasure of spiritual knowledge. And this is Heinrich Hain. This is what Germans want. Now, friends, I am uh, giving you my email ID, my phone numbers. Please make a note of this. There will be many questions. There will be many things where we may not be able to spend time. Please note down this email ID and phone numbers. You can mail me. You can call me. From morning 10 to evening 9, my phones will be on. I don't put off. Only morning, I get up at 3 o'clock and I have my rituals to do. So by 10 o'clock, you call me. I will answer you. Now, uh, if time permits, can I take a few minutes more, uh, Colonel Saab? Yeah, no, five minutes more. Yeah, five, yes. Few more slides are there. Yeah, this is another one. Quantum theory. The Indian traditions followed since ancient times. The Vedanta and the Sankhya hold the key to laws of mind and thought process, which are correlated to the quantum field. This is said by one of the greatest physician, Nobel laureate. Operation and distribution of atomic particles at molecular levels. Now, ancient Indian calculations of the present age of the Earth and expanding universe could make Professor Holmes so astonished the precision with which Indian calculations regarding the age of the entire universe was made would make any man spellbound. So that we could calculate. All these things will be never taught to in the colleges or many of us do not know. <clears throat> to tell you frankly, before entering into this field, I also did not know. India was China's teacher in religion and imaginative literature and the world's teacher in trigonometry, quadratic equations, grammar, phonetics, Arabian Nights, animal fables, chess, as well as philosophy. All these things have gone from here outside and we are learning the same thing, but only in different language. The vastest knowledge of today's cannot transcend. The intellect of the in ancient Indian sages and science in its most advanced stage now is closer to Vedanta than ever before, one of the greatest mathematicians. See, everybody who was really scientist will appreciate the India's contribution, but Indians are not taught. To the philosophers of India, however, relativity is no new discovery, just as the concept of light years is no matter for astonishment to people used to thinking of time in millions of kalpas. See, all these things we'll discuss in uh, detail afterwards. Now, you know, Karvachov, the respect, what the, this is the only country where the wife prays for the long life, healthy life, prosperity of the husband. This is the culture. And in North, they do Karvachov, in South, they do Mangal Gauri Vrata. All this is for the, can you, how can you leave this bonding? <coughs> this is a bonding between the husband and wife. Today, you are seeing so many divorces. It's just because we are losing our bonding and because of our ego problems. Now you see. Thank you, friends. This is what I would like all of you to open up your videos and ask questions if you have anything. And I would like more of interaction rather than me speaking and you listening. Sai Krupa, Shravani, Shravani, Hemashri, don't open, don't close your videos. Please. Uh, Rukmini Sai, Rupavati. Yeah. Open, open up your videos, all of you. Yeah. Now you have any questions, 
please into that. And I'll take the permission of the Colonel, sir, to permit five minutes more. Please. And un please. Yeah, unless you interact, I don't think that you have heard anything. My colleague will like a lecture, which word, either Kepe Vadu or Poe Vadu, Ante. Exam low, pass I want, yellow pass I want, copy good tea. Ray Yen Jepper, Chepper, answer Jepper and Nasta, Ante. Athrothan is other home. Dinagaro. Yeah, Sir, what is uh, what is mean by respect? Like how do, uh, like what is the meaning of respect in your uh, definition? No, I don't. I don't have any definition. Respect ante mariyada tiruguru. Mariyada yevadar kete yada alagi yada. Mere nandini garo na naal karna chinnna vali. Niye mik mariyada istnaor mana samshuti di nandini karra ani pirogur do. Amara. Talira, Bidara, Idi Mana Sanskuti. Hi Nandini, how are you? This is Western culture. He was what Data Inagura, Mr. Bill, how are you? And Chinna Pilar Arthur. We are adopting that. Adudu. Mir ye Bharadesh, ye Pranto no Koinagura, Maria the Nedu Untundi. Randi, Ra and Pilor, Randi, Kutsundi, Nidu this Kondi, Idi Maria. Pratyoka Manishika Maria de Ke Padati wherever on the Mana Sanskutilo. Tell you what that? Ah, sir, the matter. Only they communicate in English, you know, they find it difficult to understand Telugu. Alandu English lo chapta. Mana Maria the Ko Prat Talike Maria de Elayada. Mummy, happy birthday to you, Ani Dayajes and Odu. Mummy's day, Father's day, Idi Mana Sosutu Ledu, Prati Rosu, Tali, Ashwadam, Tali Prema, Tali than the Prema Tuskoro, Mana Kartavio, Mana Sosuti Adi, Akarante, Yodo, America, and Japan, and Rodu, Papa, I love you very much. Please send twenty five, two thousand five hundred dollars to me, Adi. Happy birthday, happy Mummy's day, happy Father's day, Dietes Wundu. I think English for Ale, include me Maria Zeptan, Pilago, me Talitan Narigada, called Putin no Gerente, Putin no Cheru, happy birthday gesture. A happy birthday in Jala, candle petala, cake petala, cake in the petala, English lo parala, happy birthday to you. Rani Rochina Rakunaval, good English no parala. And the Telugu ante than Maria the Leda, a Bhavana Rada. This is their culture. Manavaipu Maria the very Vishangundi. Deuni Maria de la Yala. Pedavala Maria de la Yala. Yadavala Maria de la Yala. Adurundi Mandagar. Yadavala delsa. Ah, Yadavala Maria de la Yala. Even the mana sounds with the low, bad respect. Maria de Yedavante, Walakan in Takawani and Kadu, Warthangadu. Same of Chinapudo, Sarikotra Yala. Same of Chinapudo, Cheyuburjaskola. Maria Dati Junte Ad Hiri of Manaku, Manasos with the Lundi. Ham kissing a Hulam Nye, Ham Hamara Dikar, Hamko Rakna, Hamne Usko Palankarna, Mana Dikaro, Mana Dario, Manas Terio, Manorok Lundala, Kani Maria the Wunda. Yavan did then visual like a lemon. Every other word of Sunday, you would put Kotar Kutula, only in the bar Kotar Kurante, you only be Buddhil Dandi. Yemeni andu naar, mi buti le andu naar. Yemeni mi tarallo peda unda andi. Artha mein da, adhe mi bhagya nagar adhe Hyderabad lo kya be, kaisa be, antir taro, adhe adhar mundi. Inke, Maria, inke or anybody else, where Yemena? So, Guruji, do you believe in all fields of? Uh, like in all fields of working that we can help the country and help people because uh, I aim to be a veterinary doctor but then that won't really help people so fantastic fantastic Aditi ji how to respect how to contribute the to country everything we taught in the three months and that is what the Colonel Saab and uh, Babu ji have planned for it now whatever I told if you follow 10% you are serving your country. You go to America, you go to England and behave like an Indian. 
the moment you go hello hi don't give um, hands and shake and do namaste i have visited 17 countries and all the places i have never given hand i can show you my russian video i do namaste i do namaste let us do this what chey ichadu what chey istadu nu en chey istav chey ivadu ante artham ida are haat mati ya karo yaar chey ivadu ante mosam cheyadam anamata namaskaram cheyandi enduku namaskaram cheyale adi kanalu gade pena aayojanam cheste the science and power of namaste vanam eppudu cheskunda anybody else do contribute definitely have this in mind contributing to nation doesn't mean to go out and serve you behave properly you follow your culture you take care of your parents you take care of your brothers sisters whether they respect you or not is not your criteria how you behave how you respect that is the criteria anybody else iddare ikkada active unnaru migitha vallanta na laga passive unnaru subbu garu maatladaledu there is patel garu there is one in the chat box Ah. they have written something on uh, respect uh, if you yeah, see the chat box okay uh, subbu he has written yes. that what Sat- does respect mean yeah the sadpik respect respect due to fear intimidation expecting personal favors in return rajik respect respect shown merely as a <laughs> without any understanding whatsoever will be uh, based on ignorance and tamasic behavior uh, who is this person uh subbu you are sir will subbu okay, so can you open your video i want to see the person who is so knowledgeable oh subbu sir <laughs> sir whatever you have written is 110% correct respect you must do by feeling it now i'll give you an example now i don't know how many of you have seen our pradhan mantri narendra modi when he became prime minister first time he went and bowed down and put his head down on the seat of the prime minister he bowed down and touched it everybody said are vaad natakam chestunnadu ra acting chestunnadu ra and today after 9 years we are all feeling that he respects that seat not as a power but as a opportunity to serve the country and he's doing it see whatever you have seen after he took over how many awards we got in the uh, olympics how we are performing everywhere in every field our gdp has gone up he is concerned about the entire nation not any one thing that is the real respect you must feel it suppose you come and face me you may not like me no problem but you say sir namaste i feel it for doing for a favor you, know, you have seen any politicians our rahul gandhi came and lot of congress mlas go and touch his feet they are not even even 1% equal to their knowledge but they touch their feet that is not a respect that is political respect tomorrow somebody else is there they will go and touch their feet you go to tamil nadu just fall flat in front of all the leaders i am not talking at all about that respect respect you food feel respect in your behavior respect in your actions respect in your tone and tenor namaskaram andi anukurdu namaskaram andi tone and tenor makes lot of difference nen alage maatladtan andi naina taggichu adi mariyada ka adi avu mariyada okay నమస్తే సౌమ్య సౌమ్యం అనే పదం ఉంది నేను ఎంతో మంది చూశాను మా క బెంగళూరులో చాలా మంది పేర్లు సౌమ్య సౌమ్య బాగున్నా బాగున్నా ఆమె ధ్వని ఒక విధంగా ఉంటుంది అది సౌమ్యత కాదు మెత్తగా మర్యాదగా స్పష్టంగా మాట్లాడడం సౌమ్యత ఇట్ డజన్ మీన్ దట్ యూ ఆర్ బిలో సంబడి ఇట్ డజన్ మీన్ దట్ యూ ఆర్ లోర్ దెన్ సంబడి అబ్సల్యూట్లీ నో okay anybody else anything else uh, okay thank you so much uh, for today uh, sir tomorrow again we'll meet uh, uh, for further uh, discussion and uh, shall we close today sir uh, anybody has any questions please send me the mail you want me to show you again my email you have noted yes. down 
Huh? Boss, can you show her? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll write no sir with the permission of the uh, our boss. <clears throat> the the profile given in the WhatsApp also gives the details. So here also you can note down. Are you able to see this? Are you able to see this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Please note down. Okay. Right. So it down. Anybody wants to have any other questions? Now, uh, for today, we will uh, close with uh, Prarthana and Janaganamana. When Janaganamana is being uh, recited, all of you stand up and recite along with uh, uh, the person who is singing. Uh, after that, also I want to uh, tell all of you that uh, uh, contact your uh, other course classmates. Do tell them to attend. You have to make this uh, course a big success. So we are the ambassadors uh, who will take this culture to other people. So once once you all come, it encourages the organizers and we will further conduct such courses for others also. So do encourage the organizers and you encourage your, your uh, classmates who have registered, do attend half an hour. We will have it only for half an hour. Today, I think slightly more. As you all ask for it, it, is, it will be half an hour. So now, you can uh, tell your friend, uh, so you can tell your friends, it was boring. Tomorrow, if they will not be boring, there will be more fun. Okay. So we can tell them. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, Saugandhi ji, please uh, recite Pradhana, chant Pradhana, please. Sarve Bhavantu Sukinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu, Makashya Dukha Bhag Bhavet, Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha, Harihi Om Swasti. Now, all of you, please stand up and we will recite National Anthem along with Chala Chitra Bhav Guru. Janaganamana Adhinayaka Jayahe Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Punjab Sindhu Gujarat Maratha Dravida Uttar Kalabanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Uchala Jaladhita Ranga Tavasubhaname Jage Tavasubha Ashishamange Gahe Tavajaya Gatha Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jayahe भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय जय हे धन्यवाद नंदी चला चित्रबाबू गारी